everyone. I thought it'd be fun to do a little update on how everyone's sunflowers are doing. I will show you my sunflowers and then I will invite you to send a little video clip or some photographs. Um, you can email them to me and then I will put them together and I will share an update next Sunday. Um, yeah, I'm curious to see how everyone's will develop over the summer and see what the results will be in September. But right now, let's see how my sunflowers are going. We'll take a little trip to the front yard and take a peek at my sunflowers. So here is my sunflower that's right by my front door. And I had planted two sunflower seeds in three different spots. And as the two seeds came up, then I had the terrible decision to make which one is going to be the taller and I had to pull one out. Um, the ones in this spot, they're both the same size, but the other one was really eaten a lot. The leaves, lots of holes in it. So I chose to let this one stand there. And the reason the fencing is around is because the quail kept coming in the dirt and taking a sun bath and sending the seeds everywhere. Let's go find my other sunflowers. Now here is my sunflower that's in the same location as that giant sunflower that I had posted earlier here in front of this brick wall. So I have great hopes for it. And again, I had to put a fencing around it to keep the quail out and, uh, and the agonizing decision as to which one to let live and which one to pull out. So I decided to let this one live. I hope it does me proud. Okay, now I'm going to go find my third sunflower. The soil is very rocky because we had a water line break and then when they fixed it, they filled us all in with rocks. So I have to try to get rid of the rocks and try to get better soil. Here is my best sunflower. It's here in this corner in front of my garage and it gets the most sun, which is probably why it's the tallest. And it's right beside a rock, which collects heat during the day. So this one is doing really good. Of the two plants that came out, there was no contest. This one was so much better than the other that the other one was pulled out quite a while ago. So I have great hopes for this one too. I have to confess that uh, after I pulled the flower out, I just couldn't bear to throw it away, so I transplanted it. It's not real happy here, but as you can see, look at the leaves. Yeah, we found a huge slug in our garden the other day, so I think maybe that's what's eating my sunflower leaves. And here is another one of the sunflowers that I pulled out and transplanted. As you can see, it looks really pathetic, but the middle leaves look like they're trying to live, so we'll see. But there it is beside the great big sunflower. So yeah, I don't know. This one, that one, <laughs> I kind of think this one. Sunflower number one, sunflower number two, and sunflower number three. Well, those are my sunflowers. Three of them are going good. The two that I transplanted, ah, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I'm having lots of fun trying to save them from the quail and from the deer and from the slugs too, apparently. Um, so we'll see how they go over the summer. Anyways, send me a little video clip or a photograph of your sunflowers. I know everyone would like to see how everybody is doing. You can email them to me at tuftsdonna at gmail.com. It's just my last name and first name, T-U-F-T-S. D-O-N-N-A at gmail.com. Yeah, just send them to me and I'll put them together and I will share the video clip next week.